song was uh, kind of kind of explains this whole show the name of the song is anything goes and you know with all the stuff we got here but I mean anything goes and it came from a movie not a movie I'm sorry it came from a play the same name anything goes written in 1934 by a fellow named Cole Porter who you may have heard of one of the most prolific uh, songwriters of that day and as you notice we got the piano working again so we'll be able to change things up just uh, just a little bit so well our next tune I, I've always kind of liked this tune and uh, 1928 no I wasn't there in 1928 but again it came from uh, a play of pretty much the same name. The name of the song is Making Whoopee, and the name of the play is Whoopee. Uh, I won't even go into that. So uh, it was first recorded, I guess, by a fellow named Eddie Cantor. Now, 
If you're under 50, or maybe even under 60, you probably never heard of Eddie Cantor. But Eddie Cantor was was one of those those original uh, like vaudeville song and dance guys, and that's exactly what he did. He sang and danced and did all kinds of things. And actually, a lot of times uh, in his performances, he 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 wore blackface as a tribute to all the all the all the the great black musicians of that time. So he was. But you're way ahead of his time in a lot of the things he did. So I guess he probably one time or another made Whoopi. So let's let's play it. <laughs> I guess uh, the words and lyrics to that song that uh, it, it 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 starts right at the beginning, you know, boy meets girl, the whole thing, and and each each chorus, you know, uh, they get married, then they get divorced, and uh, it goes through the whole the whole gamut. So it's it's good. I, I guess the lyrics uh, I haven't heard them that often, but they you know they kind of get a little chuckle out of them. So what well, next tune is? A little more recent than 1928, by about, I'd say, 35 years or so. 1963, a fellow named Bobby Hebb. Who's Bobby Hebb, Coach Dave? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but Bobby Hebb wrote and had a big hit 
well, well, at least one hit wonders on, on a tune called Sunny, Sunny. And uh, it's kind of a, kind of a, kind of a jazzy tune. And uh, I had I, never heard of him before, never heard of him since. I don't know if he had other hits, if what happened to him, but Bobby Hebb in 1963, little tune called Sunny. <laughs> Many years ago, uh, I knew a fellow who who had played in the Montreal Symphony. He played trumpet, and of course, you know when you play in those big orchestras, you got to play everything the way it's written on the music, even if it sounds like this, because everybody else is doing the same thing. So of course, you know me. <laughs> And any note at any time fits. So we're on a gig. I, I had hired him to play this gig with me. We played that song, Sonny. So we played it, you know, played it beautifully, of course. So I says, uh, Danny, take take another one. Assume he's going to jazz it up a little bit. Uh uh. Sonny, da da da. You know, just exactly the. I said, oh, okay, uh, un understood, understood. That's that's his upbringing, and believe me, I couldn't play in one of those, those other kinds of orchestras where everything had to be. Oh, that would drive me crazy, and I would probably drive the conductor crazy, and we would probably both shoot each other, and that'd be the end of that. All right, we're going to 1930 for this song. Written by, of all people, a fellow named Hoagie Carmichael. Now, Hoagie Carmichael uh, was kind of a singing piano player type dude, you know, um, and and uh, it, it it this this is a beautiful song, and it just doesn't oh, oh, him. This song and Hoagie Carmichael just don't really fit together, but he wrote it. And nobody had a real, everybody played it. Great tune, everybody loved it. Nobody had a huge hit until 1960 when a blind piano player named Ray Charles, when he 
played and sang Georgia on my mind. We just call it Georgia because we don't want to waste words by saying Georgia on my mind all the time. So, so we just say Georgia for that reason that, that we don't waste words. Never mind. Georgia, Georgia, on my mind. I've been to Georgia several times. Nice state. They have a place in Georgia oh. called Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain. And, and it's a side, a side of a mountain. It's a rock formation. And there are th four statues that are carved into, into the mountain. And they are four of the Confederate generals from the Civil War. And they are all facing north. So I guess there's still a few folks down there still still fighting that, that civil war. But it's a pretty state. Enjoy, enjoyed time in Georgia. Very, very nice. So well, our next tune, 1960 or so, it was all part of that, uh, that big bossa nova Rio Brazil invasion of the early 1960s by pretty much my favorite, favorite composer of that time, Antonio Carlos Jobim. You've heard me mention him many times. This little tune is called Medication, I mean Meditation, Meditation. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Meditation, pretty, pretty dope. I always liked that tune. I've been playing it for a number of years. Well, we're getting down towards the end of our time. Now, this last tune, all right, this comes with a disclaimer, okay? First of all, it is suggested you do not try to tap your foot to the tempo I'm going to play because uh, ACS and myself and Austin cannot be responsible for any injuries, sprains, or strains that may develop. So I've got to try to take off a little bit on this tune. And, and uh, for Austin's sake, I'm going to try, probably try to play a little bass solo in the middle so all of a sudden if you see my right hand doing nothing, don't panic. So. Little tune, 1929, called Bye Bye Blackbird. Here we go. <laughs> tempo. See this, the slow, f medium, fast, very fast, and ridiculous. That was pretty much ridiculous, but we did get through it. I'll get the pacemaker, uh, you know, jump started again, and we'll be all set. So that's pretty much our show for today, and as I always say, thank you so much for tuning in, and I, you know what I'm going to say, bring in those young'uns, let them hear this music. They do not get exposed to. Once again, thank you to Austin behind the glass. Uh, we finally figured out why we weren't getting piano or piano so that I could hear. You know, a little thing like I'd like to hear what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you know, sometimes it's nice to hear what I'm doing. So, uh, so once again, thank you all for watching, listening. However, it is you do get our little show here and. Uh, Let's take it home. Oh, I don't know. How about maybe I can, yeah, I can probably do a little more. Bye bye, Blackbird. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you.